everyone. So in this one, I am doing another video on a sleeper PC. Now, the hardware I'm going to be putting into this sleeper PC is going to be more or less the best hardware you can put in a small form factor PC. As you can see here, it's a Lenovo ThinkStation. Again, it's a small form factor. So, just so you can see what it was, you know. So, it uh, of course originally came with the i7-6700 and of course 8 gigabytes of DDR4, you know, and it came with a TFX power supply. So, you know, if you've ever seen one of these, you know exactly what they uh, look like. So, you know, nothing too fancy. So... Got a, oh yeah, that's right. Forget you gotta push the button there. So, there it is. So, I mean, I've already gutted it all out. So, I mean, there's pretty much nothing left in it. You know, take, take that off. So, you can see there. So, Pretty much what it looks like. I actually removed the uh, the hard drive cage, and of course, it did come with the DVD drive. I tossed that out because I mean, we use this DVD drive nowadays. So pretty much see it there now. I've already attached some custom mod modification cores that I got from online, because um, it's the only way to make the case work with modern motherboards. Now, what hardware am I going to be putting in this uh, sleeper PC? Well, so, of course, I'm going to be putting a 400 watt TK Sky Window power supply. And the CPU is a Ryzen 5 7500F. Six cores, 12 threads, uses AMD's newest hardware. And then, of course, here, using a low profile cooler. It's a five pin CPU cooler, heat spreader, so it will cool the Ryzen 5 7500F no problem. And then of course the graphics card that's going to go in there of course is the RTX 4060, the low profile version. So this, this sucker definitely was expensive. And then of course you know here's the motherboard a620 then of course 52 megahertz of ddr5 memory and then of course good old pcie times four ssd drive nvme so yeah so that's uh that's what i'm going to be building with this time around so i'm definitely excited and the thing i'm mostly interested in is what are the temperatures going to be like? Because, I mean, again, small form factors do get hot. So, I'm hoping that, of course, the uh, CPU cooler that I got will keep it very cool. But, I'm definitely going to find out. And, um, of course, thanks to the power of video editing, you're going to see the complete build in 3, 2, 1. Uh... So here's the completed build of the PC. So as you can see, the front, I put in a cover on the uh, the drive here. You can see it pretty much looks the same from the outside there. Now, of course, here's the back. So you can see that definitely has the, the AM5 motherboard that I showed you. And right there, there's the, uh, the 4060. And then, of course, there's the power supply that you saw me uh, in the box. I mean, I didn't take it out, but I mean, once I open up the case, I mean, you're definitely gonna get a better view of uh, what it looks like. So, take those off, and then the thing with these Lenovo's, right, is you gotta push the button, right, in order to open it. All right. 
There we go. Put that right there. Now, as you can see, here's the inside of the case. Now, of course, see there's the power supply. Then, of course, there's the uh, the cooler, the low profile cooler from Thermal Ride. Then, of course, the DDR5. Then, of course, there it is. I mean, you can definitely see there's not a whole lot of clearance there. And then, of course, there's the uh, the M2 one terabyte, and then. You know, it's a Be Quiet 92 millimeter fan that's here in the front. Now, of course, I know the wiring job isn't the uh, isn't the greatest in the world, but you got to keep in mind. I mean, it's a small four-factor case, so I mean, not a whole lot you can do, not a whole lot to work with. And when I think about it, I I really could have left the uh, the cage that was uh, in here originally. In fact, it probably would have been better because it would have hidden away actually a lot of the uh, the wiring here, but overall, I mean, it looks, looks good. But, you know, like I said earlier in the video, of course, my main concerns are the thermals, right? Like, how hot is the video card going to get? How hot is the CPU going to get? Especially, you know, once, uh, you know, I put the cover back on. So, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to just take a look at two popular games and let's just see what the uh, temperatures and the FPS is like gaming in this small form factor case. Every round can be found A new inner crown There's root in the mountain Where the Play. The trees aglow, minis flow, a wonderland of snow. All the mats are free, piled as high as a tree. Let's break out. Alright, so now that we've taken a look at what the uh, FPS, the temperatures, and all that good stuff is, and you know, of course, the two games we looked at was Fortnite and, of course, the uh, Warzone Modern Warfare 3 version, and you definitely could see in that gameplay footage, the, uh, the case definitely got extremely hot. I mean, the uh, graphics card was getting between 85 and like almost 90 degrees, really, I mean, if you round it up. So I'm going to say that uh, based on that, I definitely wouldn't recommend putting a 4060 in a solid case like this. In fact, I would almost say putting it in any small form factor case without proper ventilation is a bad idea because the 4060 I mean it performed just like a 4060 did I mean if you want to see just how well it performs of course you can check out my video that you know goes into more details on the RTX 4060 I mean it definitely performed exactly the same 
as that video. I mean, Fortnite and Warzone, no difference at all as far as what settings and how I played it. But, uh, I mean, again, um, the GPU was just getting really hot. I mean, 85 degrees is just too toasty for, uh, for a GPU. And even if you bought, like, the best custom small form factor case, I mean, again, the problem is, is that the GPU bits the heat out you know right in this area here and you can see it's metal and even so most small form factors always have this area covered so i mean you would have to put some holes or some ventilation or something to really do it and because you know the thing is is the, the 92 millimeter fan is doing a decent job but i mean it's just it's too much heat for it to get out of the case now i will say the one surprising thing is the uh, CPU actually did extremely well, actually. I mean, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I mean, I, I had no doubts. I mean, I knew that the uh, Ryzen 5 7500F would be able to do well in this case. I mean, you can see that the temperatures of the CPU were just fine. So, I mean, CPU was great. Um, it's just, again, it's just the, uh, the GPU that, yeah, I mean, again, Small form, factor, small form factor cases, you know, really are designed for low power GPU. So even though the 4060 can fit in one, yeah, I mean, just wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I know there is the RTX A2000 card that's a blower card, and the blower card for a good reason, because blower cards will suck the cold air in and then spit it out the back, which is exactly what you want. And unfortunately, the 4060 doesn't have that ability. But overall, I mean, could you game in a case like this? I mean, you can, yes. But you definitely have to go to a lower power GPU. You know, like an RX 6400 or, like I said, the, the A2000. Or, heck, even a... Uh, low profile GTX 1050 Ti, if you could find one of those, or even a 1650, I mean, those probably cost more than a leg nowadays because they don't get made anymore, but, uh, I mean, overall, I mean, that's just my thoughts on, like, just building in this case, using this case, I mean, again, CPU is fine, GPU, definitely not, but uh, overall, I mean, had fun, so, I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video. You know, just remember to go back and watch all my other videos. And I just want to say thanks for staying to the end. And everyone have a great day.